Well, welcome to this video where I'm going to show you how to set up iCloud for Windows on your Windows PC. The reason why you might want to do that is because you have an iPhone and you have taken some pictures and you want to be able to use them uh, somewhere on your PC and so it uh, you can set it up so that it will just automatically appear on your PC and that'll be great plus it'll also allow you to uh, also use your uh, contact and your calendars uh, so on and so forth and any documents that you store in iCloud so that's what we're gonna do you need to go to this uh, open up a browser and go to this URL right here which is uh, in the notes here in the video support.apple.com en-us ht204283 I'm going to click on this download button right here and uh, we want to run this setup program uh, it's a pretty big guy so it'll take a little while to download and once this guy is downloaded then we'll be able to run the setup program So now the installer is going to run. You need to accept the terms of the license agreement uh, and click install. It's going to ask you, um, do you want to uh, allow this app to make changes to your device? You're going to say yes. And then it will begin installing the iCloud for Windows client. So once again, it will ask you if you want to allow this app to make changes to your device, and you'll say yes. Basically, it's having to install first some uh, some smaller programs that are helpers, and then it finally does install the actual iCloud um, program. Okay, and once you're done with that, you can say finish. And it'll ask you if you want to restart your computer because it needs to restart it. So we will click yes on the do you restart not want to restart now. And I'll stop the recording and bring it back up when uh, we are done rebooting. So after the reboot, um, this little window should come up. If for some reason it doesn't come up, you can always go here and click on the iCloud icon and it will come up. So you're gonna you're gonna sign in with your Apple ID here. This is your ID that you have on your phone for Apple. For the Apple App Store, for your Apple phone, that's what the it is. So I'm gonna sign in here. Once I'm signed in, it's asked me if I want to send diagnostic information to Apple. I would say automatically send. Uh, if you're if you're really super worried about people seeing your information, say don't send. Okay, now it's very important here that you go to the options in the photos. Um, so we're going to go there and do not. I would. Unclick this because what's going to happen here is that if 
it's going to want to take all of the pictures that I already have on my computer and upload it to iCloud, which you don't want because then your iCloud is going to get full and you won't be able to save anything more there. And we don't want that. But you do want to make sure this one is clicked because I want to download new photos to my PC. So that's very important. So we'll do that. Done. And we'll click Apply. And it's going to think about that. It's thinking about the whole mail. It's uh, setting up your Outlook. If you use Outlook, if you don't, it's not even really important. So we're going to click Done. And then we'll click Close. Now here we click this little up arrow here down at the bottom of the screen. This is this called the system tray here. We're going to click that and click on iCloud. And then we're going to say download photos. Okay, so it's a uh, your video is being prepared, so we got to wait a little longer for this thing to be ready. So you see that it says uh initializing we're just waiting for this to complete so now what we're going to do here is we're going to go to download photos and so here's the thing if we want to download photos that we have already taken we click whatever year it is that we want to download and we click download if you only want to see photos that you take from here on out new photos then you don't actually need to do this so you can do that right there and then when you go here you can watch the progress um, it will eventually say that it's downloading uh, some hundred photos or whatever. See, so downloading 382 items, 381. So when that's all done, you should be able to go to your folders here, File Explorer, excuse me, and you have a new thing here called iCloud Photos on the left. If you go to Downloads, you'll be able to see that it is now created and my my um, photos are downloading from here so any new uh, photos that I take on my phone will automatically here under iCloud photos and downloads so every time I take a new photo on my iPhone it will magically appear here so that is how you install and set up iCloud on Windows Hopefully this makes sense to you. If you have any problems with it, make sure to put comments and I will try to answer them. So, thanks.